Kim Jong-un, the enigmatic leader of North Korea, remains a figure shrouded in secrecy. Born on January 8, 1982, or perhaps 83 or 84, sources remain unclear, Kim Jong-un's early life is as mysterious as the country he rules. He is the third and youngest son of Kim Jong-il and Ko Yong-hui. This lineage places him firmly within the Kim dynasty. Kim Jong-un's childhood was marked by privilege and seclusion. Raised in luxury, he was shielded from the realities of life outside the ruling elite. Some reports suggest he attended school in Switzerland under an assumed identity. This period, if true, would have provided him with a unique perspective on the world. Kim Jong-un's path to leadership was not always certain. His older half-brother, Kim Jong-nam, was initially considered the likely heir. However, Kim Jong-nam fell out of favour after a failed attempt to enter Japan on a fake passport. This incident shifted the power dynamics within the family, opening the door for Kim Jong-un's ascent. As Kim Jong-un matured, his father began grooming him for leadership. He was reportedly enrolled in Kim Il-sung Military University, a prestigious institution for North Korea's elite. This education shaped his worldview and prepared him for a military-centric regime. His time there instilled the importance of military power and the ideology of Song-un. Beyond education, he gained responsibilities within the Workers' Party. He observed and learned from experienced officials. Kim Jong-un was rapidly promoted, solidifying his position as heir apparent. The propaganda machine portrayed him as a strong, capable leader. In December 2011, Kim Jong-il died of a heart attack, throwing North Korea into a period of uncertainty. Kim Jong-un, still in his late twenties, inherited the mantle of leadership, becoming the supreme leader of North Korea. The world watched with bated breath, uncertain of what this young, untested leader would do with his newfound power. Would he continue his father's policies of isolation and military expansion, or would he chart a new course for the hermit kingdom? The transition of power appeared smooth, at least from the outside. Kim Jong-un, officially declared the great successor, quickly moved to consolidate his power. He assumed key leadership positions within the Workers' Party, the military and the state, eliminating potential rivals and installing loyalists in key positions. Purges within the upper echelons of the North Korean government, including the execution of his uncle and one-time mentor, Jang Song-taek, sent a chilling message. Kim Jong-un would tolerate no dissent. Kim Jong-un's early reign was marked by a brutal consolidation of power. He purged high-ranking officials suspected of disloyalty, including members of his own family. These purges, often carried out with ruthless efficiency, instilled fear and obedience within the ruling elite. They also served to eliminate potential challenges to Kim Jong-un's authority, ensuring his grip on power remained absolute. True to his education and family legacy, Kim Jong-un made the military a cornerstone of his rule. He oversaw a period of rapid military expansion and modernization, prioritizing the development of North Korea's nuclear and ballistic missile programs. Kim Jong-un understood that a credible military threat was essential for his regime's survival, both as a deterrent against foreign intervention and as a tool to maintain internal control. Section 5 nuclear ambitions and international relations. Under Kim Jong-un's leadership, North Korea's nuclear ambitions reached new heights. He accelerated the country's nuclear weapons program, conducting a series of increasingly powerful nuclear tests and ballistic missile launches. These actions heightened tensions with the international community, leading to tighter sanctions and condemnation from the United Nations. Kim Jong-un's aggressive pursuit of nuclear weapons was driven by a desire for regime survival. He believed that a nuclear arsenal would deter foreign powers, particularly the United States, from intervening in North Korea's affairs. The nuclear program also served as a source of national pride, a way to project an image of strength and defiance on the world stage. Kim Jong-un's approach to international relations has been a mix of confrontation and diplomacy. While he has engaged in summits with world leaders, including US President Donald Trump and South Korean President Moon Jae-in, these talks have yielded limited progress in denuclearization. 
Section 6. Economic Reforms and Internal Struggles While prioritizing military advancement, Kim Jong-un also implemented economic reforms. Recognizing the need to improve the lives of ordinary North Koreans, he introduced modest market-oriented reforms, allowing for greater private sector activity and foreign investment. These reforms, while limited in scope, aim to boost the country's stagnant economy and improve living standards. Despite these efforts, North Korea continues to face significant economic challenges. International sanctions, coupled with systemic inefficiencies and corruption, have hampered economic growth. The country also faces chronic food shortages, exacerbated by natural disasters and government mismanagement. Section 7. The Future of North Korea Uncertainties and Possibilities Kim Jong-un's rule has been marked by a complex interplay of internal repression, external aggression and a cautious embrace of economic reform. The future of North Korea under his leadership remains uncertain. Will he maintain his grip on power or will internal pressures and external threats undermine his regime? The international community continues to grapple with the challenges posed by North Korea's nuclear ambitions and human rights record. Engagement and diplomacy remain crucial, albeit difficult, avenues to pursue. The stakes are high, as the consequences of miscalculation or conflict on the Korean peninsula could be catastrophic. Section 8. Conclusion. A legacy yet to be written. Kim Jong-un's rule has been a period of both continuity and change for North Korea. He has continued his predecessor's focus on military strength and ideological purity, while also experimenting with limited economic reforms. His legacy, however, remains to be written. Will he be remembered as the leader who maintained North Korea's isolation, or the one who guided it toward a more open and prosperous future? Only time will tell.